This video includes audio. Please make sure to turn on your sound. The Cortex Typhast flu, A, B, and COVID-19-3 in one multiplex rapid test is a lateral flow immunoassay intended for the qualitative detection and differentiation of SARS-CoV-2, influenza A, and influenza B protein antigens. Each box of Cortex flu A, B, and COVID-19 multiplex rapid test contains 25 tests. The contents of these kits include 25 test cassettes, 25 tubes with sample processing solution, 25 swabs, one instructions for use and one quick reference guide. Before performing the test, Please note the following precautions. Only use the components provided in the Cortex Typhast Flu AB and COVID-19 Multiplex Rapid Test Kit. Do not use transport media, as it may lead to inaccurate results. It is recommended to use the test cassette immediately after opening. Once opened, the cassette is valid for one hour. After sample collection, the specimen should be processed within one hour. Moreover, please check the test's expiration date. Do not use an expired test. Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds and dry them thoroughly, or use a hand sanitizer. Use a flat level surface, such as a table or countertop for testing. Have a timer ready to use during the test. Make sure you have all the test components before you start. Perform the test at room temperature, between 59 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit, or 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. Let's move on to the testing procedure. First, open the test cassette packaging and place it on the table. Then, open the tube and insert it into the pre-made hole for tube on the back of the box. Remove the swab from its packaging to collect the sample. Be careful not to touch the soft tip of the swab with your hands. Take out the swab and rotate it five times in each nostril. Ensure an adequate sample is collected from both nostrils. Please note, do not push the swab further if you meet resistance. For young children, do not insert more than half inch. Place the swab into the tube. Rotate the swab at least 10 times while pressing the swab head against the bottom and sides of the tube. Remove the swab while squeezing the sides of the tube. Close the cap of it. Then slowly squeeze the tube and dispense three drops of solution into the sample well. Invalid results can occur if less than three drops are added to the sampled well. Then wait for 10 minutes. Please make sure to read the results between 10 and 30 minutes. After adding the sample to the test card, reading too early or too late may lead to inaccurate results. To interpret the results correctly, it's important to understand what each line means. The C line is the control line. A valid test result must always show this line. The other three lines are the positive indicator lines for their corresponding viruses. SARS-CoV-2 Influenza B Influenza A. If only the C line appears and no other lines appear, the result is negative. If the C control line is visible and one or more lines appear for any of the viruses, the test is positive for that or those viruses. If the C line does not appear, the result is invalid. If the patient continues to experience symptoms, please advise them to consult with a healthcare provider for further evaluation. Or, if the patient remains symptomatic despite receiving a negative SARS-CoV-2 test result, they may consider buying an over-the-counter OTC test for serial testing. This involves testing at least twice over three days with a 48-hour interval between each test. It is possible to have more than one positive test line, which could indicate a co-infection with influenza A, B, or SARS-CoV-2. If repeatable dual positive results are shown, please refer the patient to another healthcare provider, where they may conduct the confirmation test by an FDA-cleared molecular assay before reporting results.
In point of care or clear waved laboratory settings, external controls should be tested with each new lot, each shipment received, and whenever a new or untrained operator is performing the test. This helps ensure the accuracy and reliability of results and aligns with local regulations or your lab's quality control protocols. The applicable external controls for the Cortex Typhast Flu AB and COVID-19 Multiplex Rapid Test have the reference number CUS to 94-10. To perform a positive or negative control test, complete the steps in the test procedures section, treating the control swab in the same manner as a patient swab. This section shows the expected results for the positive and negative control swabs. The positive control swab test card must be positive for all three analytes, flu A, flu B, and COVID-19. You will see all four lines displayed on the test card. In contrast, the negative control swab test card must be negative for all three analytes. Only one line will appear in the C area, and no lines will appear in the flu A, flu B, or COVID-19 areas. Please note, Results that are inconsistent with the illustrations are considered invalid. Please retest using a new positive and or negative quality control swab. If you receive invalid results more than two consecutive times from the same batch, please contact technical support. If you have questions regarding the use of this product, or if you want to report a problem with the test, Please contact Cordex Technical Services at support at cordex.com or contact 858-999-1582.